Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back your faces to another video here on the channel. We've just finished a great stream, but again, no, the streams can go a little bit longer than normal. So what I thought I would do, I would update you all with what was going on in the video, so you haven't got to watch the total two and a half stream. So, this is what we talked about in the actual uh, live stream this evening, so we're going to spin this around straight away. Jerry Bruckheimer is rumoured to want Johnny Depp back in Pirates of the Caribbean. I like this, and I don't like this. I like this because, again, Jerry Bruckheimer has got a lot, and I mean a lot of power, in Hollywood. This is the guy who brought us the Beverly Hills Cop 1 and 2, Top Gun, Days of Thunder, Ooh, you know, Flashdance, there's been so many, the Bad Boys films, there's been so many, The Rock, Con Air, Gone in 60 Seconds, any great action film of the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s, Bruckheimer was most likely behind it. But with this one, if he wants him back, I think that's amazing. So we're going to jump back into it. It's being rumoured that Jerry Bruckheimer wants Johnny Depp to return to the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise as Jack Sparrow. This rumour comes from We Got Discovered. Again, very hit and miss, but we don't know. It could be true, it may not, so this will be a rumoured video. Who's claiming that their sources are informing them that the film producer is keen on getting the actor back into the franchise. Now... Because of where this news is coming from, maybe take it with a pinch of salt. However, according to them, Bruckheimer is very much in Depp's corner, which is to be expected since they've been good friends for a while now. Which is very true. You know, we're in 2020 now. They've been friends since 2000. Well, that's when they started making films together, 2000, 2001. We don't even know if they were friends beforehand. Most likely because obviously during the uh, late 80s, early 90s, Depp was a huge star, and he was like an up-and-coming star. Him, along with River Phoenix, again, sad to say that he obviously passed away years and years ago. And this is where Jerry Bruckheimer comes into play. Jerry Bruckheimer knows the money is with Depp. He's 100% behind that, because he's like, yeah, guys, you know, uh, if you want to do a reboot of Pirates of the Caribbean and have all women, I'm not against all women, but... Let's just say what happened when it was an all-women film with Purds of Prey. Which they want exactly for this film. They want Margaret Robbie back in this and they also want the person who wrote Birds of Prey. To be honest with you, it's not going to work. And again, Pirates of the Caribbean is Jack Sparrow. There's nothing else. If, you, if Jack Sparrow wasn't in Pirates of the Caribbean and it was just Will Turner, it wouldn't be successful. Trust me. So getting back to it, obviously... Bruckheimer was a big supporter of Depp's portrayal of Jack Sparrow, even when Disney was not keen on how Depp was playing the character. Obviously, which is very true, because Disney wanted to actually get rid of Johnny Depp, because he thought he was drunk. The head of Disney at the time, I believe it was Will Eisner, he actually said, why is Johnny Depp drunk? He wasn't, he was, that's how he was playing the character. And, if it wasn't that great, how come he won a, well he didn't win, he, so why was he nominated for a Best Actor Oscar at that time? For Jack Sparrow. Remember. But yeah, so we got that by there. And obviously, after Depp lost his liable case against that paper, we've already seen him get the boot from the Fantastic Beasts franchise. Which again, that is a very good thing that they've put there, that they, he's got the boot. You've got a lot of people saying, well, the guy resigned. He resigned. No, he was forced to resign, which is basically resigning is a nice way of saying you're fired. That's it. You can say, oh, well, it's not, though. It is. If someone asks you to resign, they're giving you right. You can either resign or we fire you publicly. That's it. But again, no, Johnny Depp even said it himself. He goes, I was asked to resign. So there we got it. It had already been reported that Depp would not be returning as Jack Sparrow in the Pirates franchise. However, if this rumour is to be believed, he could come back in a future movie. Which, to be honest with you, I think that's what everyone wants. Because, again, like I said, Johnny Depp is Pirates of the Caribbean. That's what we got. And it's just amazing to see that if the producer of the multi-billion dollar franchise wants him back, I say take him back. But again, no, I think they will probably be waiting on the Virginia case. Which the depositions are currently happening. It was yesterday, today and tomorrow. So that'll be interesting to see. But then they go on by here. So I, could Johnny Depp come back to the Cambry? So as it says further on down in the article. So let's spin this around again.
could Johnny Depp come back to the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise as Jack Sparrow? Well, of course he can. According to We Got This Covered, Bruckheimer has been in direct contact with Johnny in an attempt to work something out over a return, even if they go it was just a cameo. Could be good if it is a cameo, however, like they say there, personally, I do not like seeing what's happened to Johnny Depp as far as him losing his role are concerned. His whole legal battle with Amber Heard is still ongoing and we really need to wait until the truth is out there for people to make a decision on what to do regarding his career. Which is what we've all been saying. And to be honest with you, I really do think that's what they're waiting for now because, again, something could come out in that trial which could put a lot, and I mean a lot of pressure on Warner Brothers towards AH. And to be honest with you, I hope it does. So it's going to be great seeing these depositions from the last uh, day and today, obviously. They will be out there soon. So, well, that's if the judge allows it because at this moment in time, the judge is not happy. I can understand why, because obviously, you've got the hashtag, you've got the petitions, and there's so many people voicing their opinion over her. Potentially, she could use this to her advantage, but like I've said in previous videos, everyone is doing a great job. Like, just don't harass anyone. Just keep spreading the hashtag, just don't, uh, don't point it to anything really bad, like people harassing anyone and if they're using it. Just... Just ignore it or just report it or whatever because that is not what this hashtag's about. This hashtag and all these petitions are to show that a male, it can be a victim. And that the male, even if he's Johnny Depp, even if it's a normal person in the street, that that victim needs a voice. That's exactly what all this is over. But again, no, you do see some people who are literally... They're having a go at her, they're having a go at everyone else, and some of the things they're saying are quite horrendous. Again, the Daily Fail, again, it's a paper like, uh, the, you know, that paper. You know, they put on their front page, and, you know, there was a, it was like a full-page thing about, oh, Johnny Depp fans wish her this. And it's like, right, guys, we need to cool that down. We need to calm it down, because that's not what this is about. This is about getting actual justice for a man who has been wronged. A man who has got evidence of that thick against someone against someone who has no evidence and that just upset a lot of people as well just because judge nicole obviously all and i mean all the connections with the son with his son who actually works for murdoch and it just goes on obviously dan wooten he works for it as well he's employed by the son and he's employed by talk radio all owned by rupert murdoch so it goes to show that there's a lot of connections there Fingers crossed this may be able to come into place somewhere and say, well, this happened. The judge is connected to so-and-so, so-and-so to here, so-and-so to her, and they all went out for dinner. Basically, that I think that's what's going to happen soon. We're going to see that AH actually had dinner with the judge. That's what I personally think is going to happen. I'm not saying it's true. I got a feeling that that may come out. I don't know why. But again, no, guys, if you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates. And I'll see each and every one of your lovely faces soon.